one game, one game, 60 minutes, all you got. Hey, fast, we leave each other. Let's go with a big line. 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 Going for Brandon Ayu. Oh, he caught it off the ricochet. Dives. The ball came out. It's recovered by Kansas City. The 49ers are going to the Super Bowl. For the fourth time in five seasons, the Chiefs have the Lamar Hunt Trophy, and they're taking it to Vegas for Super Bowl 58. This is All Sports All the Time. I'm Owen Lapp, and the Super Bowl is tomorrow. It's the Kansas City Chiefs versus the San Francisco 49ers. There's so much to look forward to, but let's start by taking a look back at how these teams got here. The Chiefs are the reigning Super Bowl champs, but they started off on the wrong foot against Detroit in the season opener. It was Patrick Mahomes' first week one loss of his career. They quickly bounced back, and in week three, they added a new star to the team, Taylor Swift. Some may have said, you need to calm down, you're being too loud, but she didn't care. Despite a couple of strange divisional losses, the Chiefs played well, earning the third seed in the AFC. In the wildcard round, they left Tyreek Hill and the Dolphins offense lying on the cold, hard ground in a dominant win. Then they took down the Bills with some help from Tyler Bass. That put them in the AFC Championship game where they beat Lamar Jackson. Their defensive tackle Chris Jones knows fans are getting tired of KC's success. For some reason, um, everybody used to love us. We used to be one of the most favorite teams. Now everybody is like, we're ready for the Chiefs to lose. I don't know why, what changed to what dramatic incidents happened to where everybody felt like we should lose now, but uh, it's okay. They can continue. Well, if everyone truly does want the Chiefs to lose, the 49ers are their last hope. They cruised to a perfect 5-0 record to start the season, but then they quickly lost three straight games. They would recover by going on a six-game win streak and then would take on the Ravens. In a battle of top two seeds, Baltimore put an end to their run as Brock Purdy threw four picks. Despite the loss, the Niners still clinched the top seed in the NFC, earning a bye week. A young upstart Packers squad gave them a scare in the divisional round. Down late in the fourth quarter, a touchdown drive and a game-clinching interception sealed the win. In the NFC Championship game, they pulled off a massive 17-point comeback against the Lions, sending them to the Super Bowl. Their quarterback, Brock Purdy, is confident. Are you prepared to disappoint Taylor Swift? Yes. That was cold, Brock. These teams have got bad blood between them. It goes back to 1993, when the 49ers traded the greatest quarterback in their history, Joe Montana, to the Chiefs. But San Fran got the last laugh. They won the Super Bowl in 94. And in 2019, the Chiefs beat the Niners in the Super Bowl. Now, let's take a look at the biggest factors between these two teams. At quarterback, we've got Patrick Mahomes, the current king of the NFL. Trying to dethrone him is Brock Purdy, who was the last pick of the 2022 draft. Purdy beat out Mahomes statistically across the board this year. I would have called that wishful thinking, probably mindless dreaming at the beginning of the season. The quarterbacks both have elite tight ends to throw to. Travis Kelsey and George Kittle are trouble, trouble, trouble for opposing defenses. Both of them play a crucial role in their offenses. Look for them to rack up plenty of yards. Kittle led the league for tight ends in receiving yards with Kelsey right behind him. Both teams have sneaky great defenses. The Chiefs have allowed only 14 points per game in the playoffs, and the Niners defense has stars all over the field. The biggest difference between the two units is the Chiefs don't force many turnovers. A takeaway could be their best shot at slowing the Niners offense. I think that should prepare you pretty well for what to expect in Super Bowl 58, but just for good measure, let's make sure you know the most crucial information. It's time for very important stats. Before last year's Super Bowl, the loser of the coin toss had won the game eight years in a row. The Chiefs broke that streak by beating the Eagles. Teams wearing white jerseys in the Super Bowl have only lost three times since 2004. One of those three, the Niners losing to the Chiefs in 2019. The Chiefs dominate when the moon is in waxing crescent and that's what it will be on Sunday. And finally, NFC teams have done well when the halftime performer is a man, and this year, it's Usher. Wow, that was some really important stuff there. With all this in mind, I think I'm ready to make my official prediction for this game. 
I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22 to 13 as the final score. Chiefs win. The Travis and Taylor fairy tale is complete. This has been All Sports All the Time. I'm Owen Lapp. Enjoy the Super Bowl, everyone.